April and May are typically the months where the chances of successfully climbing Mount Everest are the best, but the climb is still brutal, and people do succeed at getting to the summit, but some don't. About 280 people have died since the first expedition in 1922, which is relatively low considering some other mountain death tolls like the Mont Blanc. Here are all the hypothetical ways you could die climbing Mount Everest. For one, your lack of understanding of mountain conditions could leave you crushed under an avalanche, which, by the way, is the most common way people have died, accounting for almost 25% of the deaths that have occurred. 2014 was a particularly devastating year as a group of Sherpas died after an ice avalanche came crashing down on the Cumbu Icefall section of the mountain. Another major cause of death? traffic jams. 50 years ago, Nepal only allowed one team per season to attempt the summit, but that changed in the 90s as the potential for more money from tourism grew. Now, an unregulated amount of teams, all equipped with the same weather forecasts, attempt to summit at the same time, leaving more people exposed to bad conditions for much longer than they should. Being stuck in these terrible conditions could lead to frostbite, exhaustion, organ failure, and snow blindness. Above 26,000 feet, you begin to enter what's known as the death zone where atmospheric levels are low. Altitude sickness occurs when at higher elevations, less oxygen molecules are in the air, making it more difficult for our bodies to get the oxygen needed to function. The symptoms of altitude sickness include delirium and disorientation as your brain begins to shut down. Lack of appetite sets in or nausea, and the lack of calories will make you fatigued. Eventually, your brain will swell, your lungs will fill with fluid, and you'll go into a coma and you'll die. So if you want my advice, unless you're an experienced mountaineer, maybe sit this one out. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment below. Let us know what you'd like us to explain next.